Hey everyone, this is Anne with CNSave.com. It is Sunday, March 20th in the evening. I'm in the living room with the Walgreens ad. I'm going to go through it, see what the deals are this week. I have $5 in register awards from last week to spend. So I'm going to go through and see what looks good for this week. Okay, I've gone through the ad and I pulled out the deals that I I am hoping to take advantage of. There are a lot of great deals in this week's ad. So I am going in with $5 in register rewards. I also have some balance reward points. I think I have enough to cash in $2. I know I've said before that you have to cash them in in $5 increments, uh, but you can cash, I think, $1, $2, and $3 maybe, and then five, 10. So um, I should be able to use $2, so that will give me $7 going into today, or tomorrow, because I'm it's a Sunday night, I'm gonna go tomorrow. So, here are the deals that I've put on my paper. I always use a glue stick to glue them on. It makes it so much easier than lugging the ad in. So, we will just start up here with these Glade products. I am looking at the Glade wax melts. They're on sale two for $6. I have a $1 off to printable coupon, so I will pay five and then I'll get back a $2 register award. These dental products, there's um, Glide Floss and Picks, Crest Toothpaste, Oral-B Toothbrushes. They're on sale this week, two for $5.98. Now I am in need of some more dental floss and some picks. So I have coupons for 75 cents off. So I have two of these, I'm gonna see, um, if I can match the coupons to the ones that are included in the deal, and if they are, I will take advantage of that. The Colgate toothpaste select varieties are on sale for $3. There's a 50 cent off coupon in today's newspaper. So after that, I'll pay $2.50 and then get back a $2.50 register award. Then these uh, Colgate toothbrushes on sale for $2.99. They're um, was a 50 cent coupon for some people in today's paper. I didn't have it. However, there was a dollar coupon um, a couple weeks ago. So this is for any Colgate 360 or Colgate Slim Soft. If these are included, then I can use it. If not, um, I wouldn't have any coupon. So I'd pay $2.99 and then get back $1.50. So we'll have to see if the coupon matches up with what's on sale. Mitchum deodorant is on sale this week for $2.99. There's a dollar coupon in today's paper. This is my preferred deodorant, so when I find a deal, I get it. So I'll use my coupon and pay $1.99 for that. Then over here, soft soap is on sale, either the body wash or the hand wash, for $2.99. Some people got $1 coupons in today's paper. I did not, so I don't have a coupon. So I will pay $2.99 and then get back a $1 register award. Then let's do the candy. So Mars Easter candy is on sale two for $4. There is a $1 off any two coupon in the Walgreens March savings booklet. The booklets are at the front of the store. They usually have a little stand with the weekly ads and flyers. You'll find the coupons there. You can also clip them online and add them to your card. But I like to have the paper because I never trust that they're gonna take off. Then there's these uh, $1 off any two uh, M&M's, Dove, Snickers, Twix, or Milky Way, Three Musketeer items. Uh, so, a dollar off two store coupon stacked with a dollar off two manufacturer coupon. On sale two for four, it's going to take two dollars off. So that means I will get each for a dollar. The Starburst jelly beans are on sale three for six. This is a five day ad. Uh, so three for six dollars. There's a one dollar off two Walgreens store coupon in that March savings booklet and this is no longer available but there was a one dollar off any two printable coupon so I'm going to combine those coupons now the key with the pricing is you have to buy three so I'm going to have to buy three bags six dollars then I'm going to take two dollars off the coupon so I'll get three bags of jelly beans for four dollars uh, so that's what a dollar thirty three each so that's definitely not a bad price for uh, the name brand jelly beans Eggs are on sale this week, 99 cents. That's just a great deal for eggs. So hopefully my store won't be cleared out and I can get those. Maybelline items are buy one, get one 50% off. There are uh, coupons on coupons.com 
for three dollars off any one Maybelline lash um, lash lash shush, shush. let me try that again New York lash sensational luscious mascara good grief so I think they're $8.99 we'll see um, so I would buy two use two coupons one would be full price one would be half price so that's a deal I'm gonna look at I may not do it but I'm gonna see what the price looks like and decide if I want it then finally there's an in-ad coupon for Nestle uh, Toll House Morsels two for four dollars and there are coupons on coupons.com for 50 cents off so that would make each bag a dollar fifty and that's a really good price for chocolate chips uh, Nestle brand so those are the deals I'm hoping to get now there's one trick this week I have more coupons than items with Walgreens you can't have more coupons than items you're purchasing and basically that means pieces of paper so I think I added up my pieces of paper and I had like well let's do it here two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen I have eighteen coupons because Register rewards count as coupons. So I have 18 pieces of paper. If I get everything on here, I would get two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Did I count this? Let's count again. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I would have 16 items, 18 coupons, 16 items. So what I need to do is I need to find fillers. And what that means are try to find small inexpensive items. Maybe I'll stumble across something on clearance or they have little caramels by the register or just a couple of cheap things so that I can bring my item total up to the number of coupons I have. So I need to find two filler items, two cheap little things that I can purchase that will match my item total to the coupons I use. So that's one trick you do have to know with Walgreens. So I am going to head to Walgreens tomorrow on Monday, see if I can get these deals. So I will report back and show you what I got. Okay guys, it is Monday and I just got back from Walgreens, had a very successful trip, found everything that I wanted, found an unexpected deal, all my coupons went through, my register awards came out. So big trip, but uh, very successful. So I will have this trip written up on my blog with links to the coupons I used if they're still available. So look for that blog post below. Uh, but let's dig in and I will show you what I got. So the Starburst jelly beans, you can see in the ad, they were on sale three for $6. Now there was a $1 off to manufacturer coupon, it's no longer available. Uh, but there is a $1 off to Walgreens coupon available in the March savings booklet. You can get that in store online. Now to get the $2 price of each bag, you did have to buy three bags. So I bought three bags, so $6 minus $2 in coupons. So I paid $4 for all three bags. So that's about $1.33. Or dollar, yeah, dollar thirty-three ish a bag. So not bad at all for Starburst jelly beans. The M and M eggs. Did they have Snickers? My store didn't have any of the Snickers. They only had M and M's um, candy. They didn't have any other Mars brand. On sale two for four. Then I had a one dollar off two manufacturer coupon and a one dollar off two Walgreens coupon. So on sale two for four dollars. I had $2 in coupons. That made these each $1 bag. I got these malt ones. Never seen those before, but I love malted milk balls. So, little mini eggs for Easter. The Nestle chocolate chips, it was an in-ad coupon, two for $4. Then there are 50 cent off coupons on coupons.com. Was it 50 cents or 55? No, I can't remember. Anyway, I'll have it linked below. Regardless, um, that made each yeah, so just made each bag a dollar fifty, which for Nestle is a good price. Then these Glade picks, Oral B picks, which I really like. This was a register reward deal. It was this one. No, I'm sorry, it was not a register reward. My bad. Um, on sale two for five dollars and ninety eight cents. 
I had 75 cent off coupons off each. So yeah, do the math on that one. <laughs> anyway, I like these, I needed them. So to me, that was a good deal. This was a an unexpected sale. I was walking by one of the aisles. I noticed they had Noxzema on sale, two for $6. You had to buy two to get the $3 piece price. I use Noxzema to clean my face in the morning and at night, so I go through a lot. In my area, the regular price is anywhere from $3.58 to $3.99. So whenever I see it on sale, I do go ahead and get it. So I didn't have any coupons, no rewards, but I went ahead and got that. The soft soap, now this was a register reward deal. You can see there on sale for $2.99. Some people got $1 off coupons in yesterday's paper. I did not, so I didn't have any coupons. So I paid $2.99 and then I got back a $1 register reward. The Mitchum deodorant, you can see here on sale for $2.99. There was a dollar off coupon. So again, like with Noxzema, I do use this brand when I can get it on sale. I do, so that made that $1.99. Then the Colgate toothpaste, that was this deal here. Um, on sale for $3 and a 50 cent off coupon in the paper. So I paid $2 and 50 cents and then got back a $2 and 50 cent register reward. The Colgate toothbrushes, you can see here, um, these are on sale $2.99 and then there's a 50 cent off coupon and got back a $1 and 50 cent register reward. The Maybelline mascaras. This week Maybelline's on sale. Buy one, get one free. Now let me check the price of the mascara. Look at my receipt. <laughs> let me look at the price because it was on the mascaras were on sale too. Uh, they were on sale for $8.79. So bought one for $8.79. That made the 50% um, off the second one. So that made that. For $39. Oh no, why are you upside down? <gasps> Have to make it pretty. And then I had two $3 off coupons. So $3 off of each. So that made, I don't know what it made each one, but it made it made for a good deal. $3 and under four bucks for each, basically. So a good deal for an expensive mascara. And then the Glade Wax Melts was this deal. On sale, two for $6. Uh, I then had a $1 off coupon, off two, and then that got me a $2 register award. One thing that's not shown in my um, haul are the eggs. A dozen eggs are on sale for 99 cents. You could buy four, I just got one. And then because, like I talked about, I had more uh, coupons than items, I had to find some fillers. So select candy bars are on sale this week for 69 cents. So I bought three candy bars. So I would have more items than pieces of paper. So um, I used $5 in register rewards and $2 in bounce rewards. So I had $7 to pay for all of this. My out of pocket total with sales tax was $39.79. And then I got back Let's see, four fifty, <laughs> five fifty, six, seven dollars in register rewards to use for next week. So not bad considering you know the Noxema's pricey, the mascaras are pricey. Uh, one thing you could do if you wanted to pay less out of pocket and you wanted to get these deals would be to do the register reward deals first, like do the Glade, the um, Colgate toothpaste and toothbrushes and the soft soap buy those items and then go back and buy the items that don't have the rewards and use your rewards from your first transaction to pay for your second. That's what's called rolling rewards and when you hear people doing multiple transactions. Now I went up to the store that's closest to me which is always busy. I was I don't want to do it but then it's so convenient so it's, it's so close. I was in line I had you know all my coupons there was an old lady behind me and she like huffed and she like turned and said something to the lady behind her. I think there were four people in line behind me. There were four people in the other line. They opened up the cosmetics line to, you know, check people out. If your store, if you can find a clerk over in the cosmetics and check out over in cosmetics, that's always nice because most people don't go over there and you can take your time. But uh, every register 
was going today. So that's just how it was. I just turned my back on grumpy old lady and said, and thought, look, I am doing this legitimately. I planned out this trip. I came here. I'm spending money. I have a right to work my deals. And I have a really nice cashier. She's um, the one I had last week too. And she's great. She's like, I love coupons. So yeah. Anyway, that is this week's haul. If you like these Walgreens videos, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I do want to mention that if you are new to couponing, I do have a book called Beginner's Guide to Couponing. I will link that below. It teaches you how to coupon in seven easy steps. So if you're just getting started and you don't know where to begin, that book will help you. And like I said, I will have this blog post written up and all of the links over on my blog. So look for that blog post below. So that is it for this time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.